Workers for Nassau County are getting a small pay raise for a big reason. On Friday, the county announced its minimum pay for county workers and contractors will increase to $15.54 an hour. It isn't a big raise, only an extra four cents, just enough to keep pace with inflation. But Anita Halas, executive director of the group Long Island Jobs with Justice, says it's significant because unlike minimum wage laws in most other counties or for New York State, Nassau County's living wage goes up with the rising cost of living. It does create a model of what actual wage increases should look like, and it sets a floor wage that's actually a really great model of the ways in which employers should be paying their workers. County officials say the new living wage makes Nassau County a national leader. The new minimum applies to jobs that do not include health care benefits. The minimum for employees who do receive benefits is almost $2 an hour less. Compared with many other parts of New York State, Nassau County is an expensive place to live. But advocates for low-wage workers say they've been losing ground across the country for years. Based on decades of rising living costs and increased productivity, Halas says her group estimates the national minimum wage should be around $22 an hour for everyone. $15 is not enough. That's really the baseline of it. $15 is not enough no matter where you are, regardless of whether you're in Buffalo or New York City or Long Island. Nassau County's living wage law went into effect in 2007, and the hourly wage is increased every year on August 1st. For New York News Connection, I'm Andrea Sears.